It's time to sit back, relax, and listen to Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life. Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life will inspire, motivate, and empower you. Live your best life now. Listen, learn, think, and decide. Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life. And now, here's your host, Joan Herman. Welcome to Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life. I'm Joan Herman. Thanks for tuning in. Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life brings you interviews with some of the most inspirational and influential people in the world. It's our goal to educate and empower you so you can live your best life now. Thank you for taking time for yourself and thank you for letting us be a part of your life. We have another great show for you today. Do you want to cultivate the building blocks of self-care? Would you like to confront the common roadblocks that we all face? Do you desire more peace and joy in your everyday life? Today's guest, Agapi Stasinopoulos, explains how to explore conflict areas such as relationships, money, self-esteem, and anxiety so you can learn to trust your creativity, keep your heart open, and connect to the bigger spirit that lives within you. Agapi is a best-selling author and speaker who inspires audiences around the world. She conducts workshops for Thrive Global to help change the way we work and live. Agapi is the author of the new book, Wake Up to the Joy of You, 52 Meditations and Practices for a Calmer, Happier Life. Welcome, Agapi. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Joan. That's a, a, such a beautiful introduction. I think uh, you kind of captured some of the things that I am really aiming to do out there with with people and, and help each one of us become more connected to the source of who we really are. Well, Agapi, in your new book, Wake Up to the Joy of You, you've written this with the goal of helping people live a more joyful life. And I think you'll agree, people today are searching for joy. Why do you think this is happening? I think people out there, Joan, are searching for meaning and happiness. And I think they forget that joy is uh, is really an innate quality that we all have as children and uh, we all know joy and we feel it when we experience it or we see it. But I think what happens is... uh, we have so many pressures in our lives that really stop us from experiencing it. And there are a lot of the pressures are self-imposed and they're pressures that we adopt from society, from our parents, from the people around us. And we lose our own sense of connection to something that is so much uh, available to us 24-7. I always say that joy is who we are. And then underneath all the beliefs and all the limitations and all the judgments that we do in ourselves, joy is always there. It's like a bubbling river. But we need to really examine and, and question ourselves what really robs us from our joy. And the bottom line about how you get to your joy is gratitude. Because, Joan, you know that when you are grateful, your energy flows and you are, you are not taking things for granted. And part of the problem, I think, is that we take so many things for granted in this world. I think many people live their life from this place of lack, that there isn't enough. And and because of that, they're always in fear. You know, they're, they're not coming from a place of abundance. Oh, and- my God, you're speaking. You, I feel like I'm listening to myself. <laughs> <laughs> that, because I speak about that all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time I speak about, yes, that we are um, living in, in, a, in a permanent way of scarcity. Right. And when that happens, you're always striving to get more of something. It's all those external things, more things that you're accumulating, more wealth, a bigger car, a bigger house. And all of those things rob you of that inner peace and joy. Yes. Yes. Also, we compare ourselves, Joan. You know, we compare ourselves. We don't really know what they're feeling or, or, or what they're experiencing, but we just look at, I mean, look at how many people are comparing themselves to people's lives in Facebook. Right. You know, and, yeah. and you know, you, you go into Facebook and you see people's uh, vacations and people's, what they're eating and their kids and, uh, and you see the lives that are not real. We don't really know what these people are feeling, they're experiencing how they wake up in the morning, but it's, a, it's all an image that we get trapped into. We have 37.2 trillion cells in your bodies. Compare that to the 400 billion stars in the galaxy. So let's just start by the fact that 
we are a miracle of life, that those trillion cells that we have are, are functioning, are giving us life, they are regenerating without us having to do anything. Isn't that remarkable? If you are ever feel insecure, insignificant, or inadequate, remember that there are more cells in your body than stars in the galaxy. But when a negative thought or a belief takes over you, you, you start to not think, oh my God, I'm alive, I'm well, I'm breathing. Something extraordinary is breathing through me, right? Because I have nothing to do with my breath. My breath is given to me freely by life. And that's why I think now more and more people are starting to meditate and finding a source of, of calmness because there is a spiritual awakening happening on the planet where people are becoming less materialistic and more driven to become more spiritually aware. Agape, you and I have both been through adversity in our life. And, and like so many other people, we've been knocked down and we've had to reinvent ourselves. And, and we've learned that things don't always go as planned. And you speak about something called grace and disappointment. What mm -hmm. advice do you offer to someone to help that person find that grace? When um, things don't go your way and when you don't get the things you want or when things fail, it's just an incredible blessing in your life to look at more deeply into yourself. It is like a compass that's guiding you always back to your true north inside of you. And when disappointments happen, a lot of times people become bitter and they, and they lock it in. And if you are able to really open up and look at it in a perspective of where you go, okay, why did this happen to me? What am I learning? What is the lesson there? In that moment, when you are accepting and not judging it, you're going to start finding an openness of your own awareness of how this is also for your good sake. Most of the things that didn't happen to me were an extraordinary gift to get back to Agape. How I found most of my confidence is because I had to find out the stuff I'm made of. You know, we are resilient. I mean, look at how the, the really, what you would call tragic things, loss that happened to you and, and betrayal and disappointment. And you just said, I'm going to turn this around. And uh, how you did that? It's because, as my mother used to say, you changed the channel. <laughs> mm -hmm. My mother had this thing that says, you've been playing the disappointment channel for too long. It's time to change the channel. <laughs> Wise words. And, uh, you know, we, we are wired by human nature to have expectations. You want things to work out a certain way, your way. You plan and imagine the desired outcome and attach your own fantasies to the experience. You tell yourself stories about how things should happen. And when the reality doesn't match, you feel let down and experience a loss of energy. So disappointments are a way to show you how you are conditioned to have these expectations. And when you start to go away from the expectations, you get back to you. You get back to your power, your ability to create. And uh, it's, it's trial and error. You know, none of us are given a recipe. This is how your life is going to work. I mean, life is just happens in the moment, happens in the, in the questioning of yourself into doing the inner work. And you start to realize that in every adversity is hidden a blessing. The book is Wake Up to the Joy of You, 52 Meditations and Practices for a Calmer, Happier Life. And the book is available now. If you would like to get more information about the book or about Agape, you can visit the website wakeuptothejoyofyou.com. And Agape, what are some other ways that our listeners can connect with you? Well, um, Wake Up to the Joy of You is my website and my Facebook, of course. People can follow me in Facebook. They can follow me in Instagram, which is Agape Seas. I think, uh, really, Joan, we're all here to, to help each other. Uh, if you learn something, share it. If I learn something, share it. I have another chapter that I love here. It's called Finding Your Calling. And mm -hmm. there are like five questions to ask yourself. What am I here to teach? What am I here to learn? What am I here to overcome? What am I here to complete? And what am I here to share? And ask these questions. When you are having an adversity, just say, what is life teaching me with this? And ask for people, can you help me? I'm having a hard time. I'm, I'm, I'm going through a loss. My husband lost his job. My child is having a hard time at school. I'm not happy in my job. Become like an investigative reporter and ask people, how do you do it? How did you do it? Then you start to enlist their wisdom. 
Agapi, thank you so much for being here. You are so inspiring and your work changes lives. And I am just so grateful that you are here with us today. Joan, thank you so much. And I, and I feel like you have so much to offer to people. And thank you for doing your work. And uh, I, I send you my love and, and all my good wishes that your days will be blessed. And once again, the book is Wake Up to the Joy of You, 52 Meditations and Practices for a Calmer, Happier Life. We'll be right back. Wake up to the joy of you. (laughs) Yes, wake up to the joy of you. Look in the mirror and say, good morning and say your name. Good morning, Agape. Wake up to the joy of you. (laughs) We'll be right back. (laughs) Hi, this is Joan Herman, host of Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life. Did you know that Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life has a free monthly digital magazine that can be read online or emailed to your inbox? Every month, nationally recognized leaders in their field provide information to educate, inspire, and motivate you. We believe in a holistic approach to life, incorporating mind, body, and spirit. Check out a copy of Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life 24-7. Visit CYACYL.com and be sure to tell your friends. for joining us. I hope you found the show informative. At Change Your Attitude, Change Your Life, we believe that knowledge is power. Take what you've learned, apply it, and live your best life now. Remember that the information provided are the opinions of our guests and should never replace the advice of a professional who knows your personal situation. If you'd like more information, visit our website, cyacyl.com. While on the site, listen to past shows on demand, read our digital magazine, take part in the book club, check out our team, and be sure to follow the show on social media. Until next time, this is Joan Herman. Thanks for tuning in.